What's up everyone? All right, it's February favorites time and I have so many things to share this month. It's kind of crazy. I was sitting down and writing everything out and I was like, I just can't stop thinking of things I've been loving. So we've got a couple of makeup and beauty items, but a lot of other stuff. My favorite like daily winter coat I've been wearing, which hair waver I've been using that so many of you guys have been asking about, a favorite coffee mug, a favorite sparkling water, like just a lot. So. Let's dive in, I'll shut up. I'll start with the makeup as usual. My favorite mascara at the moment is this one from e.l.f. You may have seen this one in action in my new e.l.f. makeup video that I did, just trying on a bunch of their new launches right now for 2021. This is their Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. I'm wearing it right now. Let me show you a clip of this in natural light on my lashes. You can see that it really volumizes and curls, but it also separates. It doesn't clump up very easily at all. It, I mean, it's just, the perfect formula, the perfect brush. The only thing I would say about it is that after wearing it all day long, by the end of the night, I might have a little bit of a smudge there and there. That's about it. It's nothing more than like, I look in the mirror and go, oh, and just go boop, boop, and then it's done. It's $6, you can get it, I mean, online, obviously, I know Target sells it, and I know some e.l.f. newer launches are harder to find, like in-store, but you can find it everywhere online. And I just think it is awesome, and I feel like more people should be trying it and loving it because it's that good. It does, by the way, have a plasticky bristle brush, which again, I always say I don't typically like. However, this one rocks my world. And you know what? The plastic bristles really do comb through the lashes really well, which is probably part of the reason why it doesn't really clump up so much, you know? This cream bronzer, oh baby, it's so creamy, but long wearing. It is the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer. It's their, it's a cream one. I have it in the shade light. It's $26 and you can find it like on Danessa Myricks site, but also on Beautylish. And then I think Camera Ready Cosmetics sells it. So there's definitely a couple places you can find it online. This is the creamiest and yet most long wearing bronzer. It's easy to apply. It almost seems moussey when you actually get it on, but it's so seamless. Like I've never tried a cream bronzer that is quite this easy to work with. What I've kind of found in the world of cream bronzers is that some are super pigmented and they stay on really well, but maybe they're a little bit more difficult to get even on the skin and kind of blend it in. And then there are bronzers that are cream that are easy to blend, but they disappear in like two hours. This is the perfect hybrid where it is easy to blend, like really easy, and it looks seamless, but it actually stays on all day. So that's what I'm wearing, and I just feel like you can get such a seamless look. I kind of put it here and up here and a little bit on my chin. The brush I've been loving to use it, the brush I've been loving to use this with is one from EcoTools. I'll pop it on the screen. I have two different ones from EcoTools I love. The other one I usually use is dirty, and so I've been using this one lately with it, and I actually might like it more with this formula. So I can link that brush below. Love this, I just think it is so, so good. New favorite cream bronzer for sure. Now I do have a fail in the makeup realm. Did you see, I just spit <laughs> everywhere. And it is the MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Cheeky Devil. Now you may recall, you might be like, what? The MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade So Natural is like one of my top three favorite blushes of all time. But I have finally realized that this shade just doesn't show up. And I have pretty fair skin and it just doesn't show up. You can kind of get it to swatch a little bit. Oh no, I did it right on that bronzer. Hold on, let me do it down here. And you can see it's just nearly impossible to get it to show up. I love the texture of these because with the stipple brush, you can just stipple it in there and stipple it right onto the cheeks. And with that So Natural shade, it works beautifully. It's kind of a peachy bronzy shade and it is Oh my gosh, like like I said, top three favorite blush of all time. But this one I'm finally gonna get rid of because it just doesn't show up. I'm super bummed about it because I really like a light pink color, but this one just didn't cut it. So if you're wanting to try this kind of putty-like creamy blush, definitely get the So Natural shade if you are near my skin tone. This one I'll touch on quickly because I did just do a video all about it. This is the Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream in the shade number 23. I did a video placing this head to head with my beloved, loved for years, Misha BB Cream. I won't spoil the video for you here. I love both though. This one is just the newest one and I haven't given it a ton of love because I've talked about the Misha one for years. This one is absolutely gorgeous, but I do think some people will like the Misha better and some people will like the Purito. So definitely check that video out. I can link it below. 
if you kind of want to see, I literally do half my face with one and half with the other. You're super up close and you really get to see them. So love this medium coverage, beautiful skin finish, like use it every day. I have it on today. I mean, it just makes my skin look exactly how I want my skin to look and it looks really nice in person too. So a uh, body wash rediscovery. I know that my daughter does have a mild form of eczema. I think I might, I know it kind of runs in my family. Like it's so mild that it doesn't flare up often, but in the winter, especially on my legs, my legs can get so itchy and dry, right? Well, I used to use this for years and I loved it. And I just got to trying other body washes. Finally, I was out of my body wash. This one, however, is the Aveeno Skin Relief body wash. This is fragrance free. It's got colloidal oatmeal. It's supposed to help with itchy skin, dry skin. And I've only been using it again for a few weeks and I am already noticing a difference in how itchy my legs are. Cause usually it flares up at night and that's like, I'm literally laying down into bed and my blanket will hit my legs just right. That I'm like, Ooh, I got an itch. But lately it hasn't been nearly as bad because of this. And my legs are looking a little bit less dry. So I am glad to have rediscovered this. And I think I'm going to stick with this for a while, especially in the winter, because my skin seems to really like it. Actually, back when I was using this really religiously, I think Avino approached me and we did a sponsored post. I'm pretty sure it was about this body wash, but loving it again, really glad to have it back in my shower. All right. The thing that I've been asked about now, please know that this is like second day hair. So it's not looking as rad as maybe it usually would. I don't know that it ever looks rad, but you know what I mean? Does anyone say rad? Okay, okay. The waiver that I've been using in my hair that I've gotten so many questions about because honestly, I use it pretty much every day is this one. So I did buy the Ava NYC one and that was really expensive. And the thing was that one works really well, but the barrels are a little smaller. So the waves were a little bit tighter and it wasn't exactly what I wanted. Now I still like that. And if that's what you want, then it's a really good hot tool. But this one is from Bondi Boost and actually Tyler got it for me for my birthday. I'd asked for it and it's a larger barrel. I don't know the exact like size off the top of my head, but I will make sure the exact one is down in the description box. It is just so almost heavy duty. And the way that I do it, you can see me using this in action in a recent like vlog I did, like a day in the life vlog here on my channel, I'll link below which one, but literally I'll separate my hair into kind of three sections and have some up, but you literally just place it on your hair and usually I'll kind of tip it up to kind of follow the shape of the barrel and that's how you avoid that crease. Someday I'll have to do like a tutorial video of how I use it, but, and then you just move on down your hair and kind of follow the shape of the barrels and that's it. And it just gives this really nice wave. And a lot of you guys have asked that you've noticed my hair is maybe shinier more than normal. I have been trying to figure out why that is because I hadn't really noticed it, but as I'm editing back video and with a lot of you guys' comments, I'm like, it does look a little bit shinier than it normally does. I'm like, what is it? I don't know. I, have, I don't know that I've pinpointed yet what product it is I'm using that's doing it. But there's a part of me that's like, is it just that this, I don't know. Cause I feel like it's been happening since I started using this. So I don't know. I literally, there's like shimmer on here. I'm like, is it like, is the shimmer coming off of here onto my hair? I'm like, no, Jessica, that's insane. But maybe. <laughs> All right. I, another thing I get asked a lot about is this headband. Honestly, for the longest time and like currently, it is like the headband I'll grab to like hold my hair out of my face while I'm getting ready really fast in the morning, just cause it's super like comfy and stretchy. And I don't know, like it just works really well. Well, I don't remember where I got this, but I was searching online and on Amazon, they have so many versions of this. And I found this one three pack that has like this one and it looks exactly the same. And then two other pearl ones and they're really pretty. And it's only like six or $7 for the pack. So basically you'd be getting this one for like two bucks. And I'm like, that is awesome. Like that is such a good deal. So I will link that pack. But again, there's so many versions of this online. You shouldn't need to spend more than a couple dollars. And I just love it. I feel like even the outfit I'm wearing, which I'll show you here in a second, because I'm wearing some favorites, even with like a chill dress down outfit, I feel like a pearl, a little pearl headband. It's just kind of cute. Like why not wear a pearl headband? Another thing I get questions a lot about my rings. And a lot of times I buy, I don't have like expensive rings. Maybe someday I'll like actually invest because I do love wearing rings, but a lot of the ones I get are at the store near me called Meyer that I love. And they're like sterling silver and they'll have like crazy sales. So I'll get them for like 
15 bucks. And so I love them though. They don't like tarnish or anything, but that also means that when you guys ask about it, I can't really link it because their stuff is not like online. So I found this ring on Amazon and it is so similar. So this is one I've had for a long time from Meyer that a lot of you guys ask about. And I discovered this one on Amazon and it is so beautiful. It doesn't have a size, but it looks awfully similar to this one, maybe even prettier. And it's like in this rose gold. I don't know, so I wanna say this right now. This may tarnish over time. I, You know what I mean? It's not like it's 14 karat gold or anything like that. So I don't know for sure because it's still pretty new to me. It's just so pretty. It doesn't have a size because they say it's adjustable because I don't wanna stretch it because it works really well. But you could literally change it to be a different size, right? So I really like it, it's really pretty and it's similar to the one you guys ask about a lot so I figured I would mention that one. Another thing I wanted to talk about is my winter coat. It's from a store called Unique Low. They're kind of sprinkled around but you can also shop online and it is this ultra lightweight, they call it a parka but it's a really lightweight, like you can squeeze it down to fit in this bag, I'll squeeze it down into and then it fluffs right back up. It's not so thick that you feel like you look like a marshmallow man in it, you guys know what I mean but it keeps me so warm. And unless the temperature's like at zero degrees Fahrenheit, if it's like 30 degrees and above, I'm pretty warm in it as long as I've got like a long sleeve something underneath it. And it's so easy to move around in. So if you're dealing with a kid or you're grocery shopping and moving around, whatever the situation might be, I love that it's tight against my body. It's not crazy big, but it's keeping me warm. It's got a nice hood and it's got zipper pockets. I am in love with it. So the color I have is the navy blue and it's like $49 online at least the day I'm filming this. Uh, it, it looks like it's on sale so I don't know if it'll still be on sale when you're seeing this but they also have other colors that are like $29 in the exact same pattern you know what I mean the same exact jacket. So highly recommend if you are in the market for just an everyday kind of more lightweight winter jacket. I still have like a thicker longer one I wear when it is colder or if we're going to be outside for a prolonged period of time like on a walk but yeah. I love it. So I wanna show you guys a couple of my favorite clothing pieces. All right, so this first one I wanted to show you is this kind of lightweight, I don't even wanna call it a sweatshirt because it's almost a thinner, it's like a mixture of like a long sleeve tee and a sweatshirt. It is one of my favorite shirts to wear around the house because it's a little bit longer, which I appreciate. It's not too warm, but it's not too thin. So I got this one on Amazon and I, I it's just awesome. And then these pants are these joggers from Zella. And actually I got them in a trunk club a while ago and they're so comfortable. Like they're just so stretchy. They have these pockets, which is nice. They're a really nice kind of soft material. And I love that they've got the fitted ankle, but again, that's not super tight. It doesn't look too loose and weird, like on the caboose. And I am just loving them. I want one in another color, but I'm like, Jessica, you, you don't need it. These feel so well made. And I just, I love them so much. And I've just needed an alternative to leggings to wear every day because I wear leggings always. I'm like, I'm kind of tired of wearing leggings. Another favorite was another birthday gift of mine from my brother and sister-in-law. And it is this mug all about the office. It's from this brand called Kelly Elizabeth Designs. Just a small business online. So I can link her site below because she does a lot of different TV shows and stuff like that. They're kind of cult favorites like The Office. And I love that every little thing is like some obscure reference to specific episodes. And it is so much fun. So I had to mention this because this I have been using like crazy lately. All right, so my favorite sparkling water at the moment is the one I'm drinking right now. I kind of stumbled upon randomly. It's from the brand Aha and it's their blueberry and pomegranate. It just has, I mean, obviously it's just a sparkling water, just like LaCroix and stuff. It's not gonna have like crazy sweetness or anything like that. But the flavor to the blueberry pomegranate is something I just really like. And now a fail is from the same brand. And I, I, I'm gonna say a fail with like, an asterisk because it's not like the worst thing I've ever tried, but it's from AHA and I you might have seen it in another video of mine, me trying it for the first time, but it's their coffee and black cherry flavor. It's not, it doesn't taste terrible, but it just so specifically tastes like a Tootsie Pop that I can't get past it and I don't love the taste of Tootsie Pop. So if you do love the taste of it, then you're gonna love this. Now, what is cool about that and more unique about that flavor is that that has caffeine in it. And so if you've been wanting more caffeine, I don't know. <laughs> but if you're wanting to drink sparkling water, maybe mid-afternoon, you're wanting just a little caffeine, pick me up, but you're not wanting to do like coffee or tea, 
there you go. So it's an option. I still have a few more to finish and it's not the worst thing I've ever tried, but I don't think I would buy it again. Whereas this, I will definitely buy again and again. And I think AHA is just Coca-Cola's brand of sparkling water, you know? Let's talk TV and books. So TV wise, we are currently watching Outlander and I'd read the first book a while ago. Definitely uh, an adult. So go into that knowing, you know, this is not one you're gonna want your kids running around, running into the room for. But uh, I don't wanna give away too much, but one thing you would know going into it because the previews would show this too, is just that it's this woman that somehow travels back in time. So she was originally living in the 1940s and ends up back in the late 1700s in the Scottish Highlands. The scenery is beautiful, the music is beautiful, the costuming is beautiful, but it's a really interesting storyline. So we've been enjoying it. We've got our friends watching it too, and my brother and sister-in-law love it, so it's kind of fun. We can kind of talk about it as well. But so far, so good. If you liked Game of Thrones, you would like Outlander. That I can definitely say with certainty. So a book I just finished and only took me like three nights to read because I could not put it down is a book called Such a Fun Age and it's by Kylie Reed. I always wanna say Riley Keed. No, Kylie Reed. <laughs> and it's just so good. So it's a novel, it's set in present times. And again, without giving too much away, it's about this couple that has a babysitter that's in her mid twenties, race issues get brought up. And it just, I think what I enjoyed about the book and what was so interesting is that you look at certain situations with different perspectives. And I think that's what was so interesting about this book and also just kind of where it was headed. Like how will this end knowing what you know about the characters and learning what you learn about them. So it was really interesting. I would not be surprised if this was eventually a movie. I haven't looked up, maybe it's, maybe it's already in the works because I feel like it would make a really great movie. If you like novels, you will like this one. You won't be able to put it down. Like I'm telling you, I was up for like two hours, three nights in a row because I could not stop reading it. <laughs> okay, so a music artist I've been loving lately is Phoebe Bridgers. And it's funny, I'd stumbled upon the song of hers. Now I need to figure out what it's actually called. Oh, it was called Garden Song. I think I was just listening to like suggested music for me and it came on and it's just a very low key, kind of more acoustic-y sounding singer songwriter vibe, which is absolutely what I love. I love like the Lumineers, that kind of vibe. So I, I fell in love with it and I really liked that song and just the feel of it. Like there's something about the feel of her songs. And so then I was watching SNL and she was the musical guest. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't, I didn't make the connection. And she sang this song called I Know The End and it's got that similar vibe I just really like. So she's not one yet that I know well enough that I've like really dove into the lyrics and thought about yet what the songs are about, but I just love I can't explain it. Go listen to those two songs and I, you'll either love them or hate them, but you'll at least know what I mean. I've kind of felt like I'm in a rut musically. Like I was really pumped about Taylor Swift's first drop of like folklore, Everglow or Evermore, Evermore. Uh, I liked, but I definitely liked folklore more. And so I don't know, I've just kind of felt like in a rut and I'm like, I just need some new music. So this has been exciting to kind of discover her and really listen to some of that. So if you like singer songwriter vibe, you might really like Phoebe Bridgers. So that is everything I could go. I mean, there's like five other things I wrote down. Like if you don't take too long, maybe you could bring these up. I'm like, I gotta cut it there because this video is already long enough. But I just have been discovering so many new exciting things I've been loving lately. And I love sharing these with you. If you wanna watch more of my favorites and fails videos, I do have a playlist. Uh, my most recent one, of course, was January. So I can link the playlist below. It'll start with the most recent and go on from there if you wanna binge them. And I'd love if you subscribed and join our little family here. I upload three videos a week. I do beauty stuff, but I also do day in the life, vlog style videos, things like that. I would love to have you join us and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.